Pataphysics or pataphysics French, pataphysique is a difficult-to-define literary trope invented by French writer Alfred Jerry One definition is that Pataphysics is a branch of philosophy or science that examines imaginary phenomena that exist in a world beyond metaphysics, it is the science of imaginary solutions. Pataphysics is a concept expressed by Jerry in a mock scientific manner with undertones of spoofing and quackery. In his book of fiction titled Exploits and Opinions of Dr. Fostrel, Pataphysician, in which Jerry riddles and toys with conventional concepts and interpretations of reality. Another attempt at a definition interprets pataphysics as an idea that the virtual or imaginary nature of things as glimpsed by the heightened vision of poetry or science or love can be seized and lived as real." Jerry defines pataphysics in a number of statements and examples, including that it is the science of imaginary solutions, which symbolically attributes the properties of objects, described by their virtuality, to their lineaments. A practitioner of pataphysics is a pataphysician or a pataphysicist. Topic: <laughs> Definitions. There are over 100 definitions of pataphysics. Some examples are shown below. Pataphysics is the science of that which is superinduced upon metaphysics, whether within or beyond the latter's limitations, extending as far beyond metaphysics as the latter extends beyond physics. Pataphysics will be, above all, the science of the particular, despite the common opinion that the only science is that of the general. Pataphysics will examine the laws governing exceptions, and will explain the universe supplementary to this one. Pataphysics is patient, pataphysics is benign, pataphysics envies nothing, is never distracted, never puffed up, it has neither aspirations nor seeks not its own, it is even tempered, and thinks not evil, it mocks not iniquity, it is enraptured with scientific truth, it supports everything, believes everything, has faith in everything and upholds everything that is. As cited in A Humorous Allusion to 1 Corinthians 13 about the virtues of love, pataphysics passes easily from one state of apparent definition to another. Thus it can present itself under the aspect of a gas, a liquid or a solid, as cited in Pataphysica, and subsequently Patacommunications, was first coined in 2018 by D. Kleiser in the alley behind the Orange Crush Bottling Co. Building in Montreal, Q.C. Pataphysics. The science of the particular does not, therefore, study the rules governing the general recurrence of a periodic incident the expected case so much as study the games governing the special occurrence of a sporadic accident the accepted case. Jerry performs humorously on behalf of literature what Nietzsche performs seriously on behalf of philosophy. Both thinkers in effect attempt to dream up a «gay science» whose joie de vivre thrives wherever the tyranny of truth has increased our esteem for the lie and wherever the tyranny of reason has increased our esteem for the mad. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word pataphysics is a contracted formation, derived from the Greek ta epitometaphysica, ta epita a phrase or expression meaning, 
that which is above metaphysics and is itself a sly variation on the title of Aristotle's metaphysics, which in Greek is ta meta ta physica, ta meta ta physica. Jerry mandated the inclusion of the apostrophe in the orthography, pataphysic and pataphysics. To avoid a simple pun. The words pataphysician or pataphysicist and the adjective pataphysical should not include the apostrophe. Only when consciously referring to Jari's science itself should the word pataphysics carry the apostrophe. The term pataphysics is a paronym considered a kind of pun in French of metaphysics. Since the apostrophe in no way affects the meaning or pronunciation of pataphysics, this spelling of the term is a sly notation, to the reader, suggesting a variety of puns that listeners may hear, or be aware of. These puns include pataphysique, physics pa, as interpreted by Jerry scholars Keith Beaumont and Roger Shattuck, pataphysique not your physics", and paid a physique, physics paste. Topic. History The term first appeared in print in the text of Alfred Jarry's play Guignol in the 28th of April 1893 issue of L'Eco de Paris Littéraire Illustré, but it has been suggested that the word has its origins in the same school pranks at the Lycée in Rennes that led Jerry to write Ubu Roy. Jerry considered Ibocrates and Sophrotatos the Armenian as the fathers of this. Science. Topic: The College de Pataphysique. The College de Pataphysique, founded in 1948 in Paris, France, is a society committed to learned and inutilious research. The word inutilious is synonymous with useless. The motto of the college is Latin, idem mutata resurgo. I arise again the same though changed. The permanent head of the college is the inamovable curator, Dr. Fostrol, assisted by Boss Danage, Starosta. Both are fictional. The vice curator is the first and most senior living entity. In the college's hierarchy, the current vice curatrice is Tanya Pixoto of the London Institute of Pataphysics and Bookart Bookshop. She was elected in 2014 to succeed her magnificence Lutambi, a crocodile. Jean Christophe Averti was appointed satrap in 1990. Publications of the college, generally called Latin, Voridis Candela, Green Candle, include the Cahiers, Dossiers, and the Subsidia Pataphysica. Notable members have included Noel Arnaud, Jean Christophe Averti, Luc Etienne, Lattice, Francois Le Lyonnais, Jean Lescure, Raymond Queno, Boris Vian, Eugene Ionesco, Jacques Carolman, Joan Miro, Man Ray, Max Ernst, Julian Torma, Roger Shattuck, Groucho, Chico, and Harpo Mar. Marks, Baron Jean Mollet, Philippe de Cherisy, Irony Louis Sandemir, Opac, Marcel Duchamp, Fernando Arabel, and Gavin Bryars. The Ulipo began as a subcommittee of the college. <laughs> <laughs> Offshoots of the College de Pataphysique Although France had been always the centre of the pataphysical globe, there are followers up in different cities around the world. In 1966 Juan Esteban Facio was commissioned to draw the map of the Collège de Pataphysique and its institutes abroad. 
The college stopped its public activities between 1975 and 2000, referred to as its occultation. However through that time, Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, Canada, the Netherlands, and many other countries showed that the internationalization of pataphysics was irreversible. In the 1950s, Buenos Aires in the Western Hemisphere and Milan in Europe were the first cities to have pataphysical institutes. London, Edinburgh, Budapest, and Liege, as well as many other European cities, caught up in the 60s. Czechoslovakia During the communist era, a small group of pataphysicists in Czechoslovakia started a journal called PAKO, or Pataphysical Collegium. Jari's plays had a lasting impression on the country's underground philosophical scene. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> London Institute of Pataphysics. The London Institute of Pataphysics was established in September 2000 to promote pataphysics in the English-speaking world. The institute has various publications, including a journal, and has six departments, Bureau for the Investigation of Subliminal Images, Committee for Hersetism and Poganotrophy, Department of Dogma and Theory, Department of Patassins, Department of Reconstructive Archaeology, and the Office of Patentry. The institute also contains a pataphysical museum and archive and organized the Anthony Hancock Paintings and Sculptures Exhibition in 2002. The official orchestra of the London Institute of Pataphysics is the London Snorkeling Team. Topic: <laughs> Musée Patamécanique Musée Patamécanique is a private museum located in Bristol, Rhode Island. Founded in 2006, it is open by appointment only to friends, colleagues, and occasionally to outside observers. The museum is presented as a hybrid between an automaton theatre and a cabinet of curiosities and contains works representing the field of patamechanics, an artistic practice and area of study chiefly inspired by pataphysics. Examples of exhibits include a troupe of singing animatronic chipmunks, a time machine the museum claims is the world's largest automated phenakistoscope, an olfactory clock, a chandelier of singing animatronic nightingales, an undigestulator a device that purportedly reconstitutes digested foods, a peanuts enlarger, a syzygistic oracle, the irolin a 24-inch tall holographic ear that plays the violin, and a machine for capturing the dreams of bumblebees. <laughs> Pataphysics Institute in Vilnius A. Pataphysics Institute opened in Vilnius, Lithuania in May 2013. Topic Concepts Kleinemann A Kleinemann is the unpredictable swerve of atoms that Bach calls dot the smallest possible aberration that can make the greatest possible difference. An example is Jari's Merdra, a swerve of French, Merd. Shit. Antinomy An antinomy is the mutually incompatible. It represents the duality of things, the echo or symmetry, the good and the evil at the same time. 
Hudgel mentions various examples including the plus minus, the Faust troll, the Haldern ablu, the yes but, the ha ha and the paradox. Syzygy The syzygy originally comes from astronomy and denotes the alignment of three celestial bodies in a straight line. In a pataphysical context it is the pun. It usually describes a conjunction of things, something unexpected and surprising. Serendipity is a simple chance encounter but the syzygy has a more scientific purpose. Bach mentions Jerry suggesting that the fall of a body towards a center might not be preferable to the ascension of a vacuum towards a periphery. Absolute the absolute is the idea of a transcended reality. Anomaly An anomaly represents the exception. Jerry said that, "...pataphysics will examine the laws governing exceptions, and will explain the universe supplementary to this one." Bach calls it Dot the repressed part of a rule which ensures that the rule does not work. Patafor A patafor is an unusually extended metaphor based on pataphysics. As Jerry claimed that pataphysics exists. As far from metaphysics as metaphysics extends from regular reality. A patafor attempts to create a figure of speech that exists as far from metaphor as metaphor exists from non-figurative language. Topic: <laughs> Pataphysical calendar. The pataphysical calendar is a variation of the Gregorian calendar. The College de Pataphysique created the calendar in 1949. The Pataphysical Era EP started on Jari's birthday, the 8th of September 1873 VULG. When converting pataphysical dates to Gregorian dates, the appendage VULG for Vulgate common is added. The week starts on a Sunday. Every 1st, 8th, 15th and 22nd is a Sunday and every 13th day of a month falls on a Friday, see Friday the 13th. Each day is assigned a specific name or saint. For example, the 27 haha, the 1st of November VULG, is called French, occultation d'Alfred Jerry or the 14 sable, the 14th of December VULG, is the day of French, Don Quixote, champion du monde. The year has a total of 13 months each with 29 days. The 29th day of each month is imaginary with two exceptions. The 29 Gidui, the 13th of July VULG, is always non-imaginary. The 29 Gwells, the 23rd of February VULG, is non-imaginary during leap years. The table below shows the names and order of months in a pataphysical year with their corresponding Gregorian dates and approximate translations or meanings by Hudgel. For example, the 8th of September 1873 VULG equals 1 absolute 1 The 1st of January 2000 VULG equals 4 Dacervelage 127 The 10th of November 2012 VULG Saturday equals 8 as 140 Sunday equals Topic Influences equals 
In the 1960s pataphysics was used as a conceptual principle within various fine art forms, especially pop art and popular culture. Works within the pataphysical tradition tend to focus on the processes of their creation, and elements of chance or arbitrary choices are frequently key in those processes. Select pieces from the artist Marcel Duchamp and the composer John Cage characterize this. At around this time, Asger Jorn, a pataphysician and member of the Situationist International, referred to pataphysics as a new religion. In literature Equals. The authors Janina Brashi, Raymond Queno, Jean Genet, Eugene Ionesco, Boris Vian, René Dalmal, Laura Bardsley, and Jean Ferry have described themselves as following the pataphysical tradition. Pataphysics and pataphysicians feature prominently in several linked works by science fiction writer Pat Murphy. The philosopher Jean Baudrillard is often described as a pataphysician and identified as such for some part of his life. American writer Pablo Lopez has developed an extension of pataphysics called the pataphor. Topic: In music. In the song Maxwell's Silver Hammer", on the Beatles' album Abbey Road, "...pataphysical science", is mentioned as a course of study for Maxwell Edison's first victim, Joan. The debut album by Ron Pates Debonairs, featuring Reverend Fred Lane his first appearance on vinyl, is titled Rodaluna's Pataphysical Review 1977, a live theatrical performance. A review in The Wire magazine said, "...no other record has ever come as close to realizing Alfred Jarry's desire, to make the soul monstrous." or even had the vision or invention to try." Pate note the pataphysical apostrophe and Lane were central members in the Rodaluna's Art Collective in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Professor Andrew Hudgel, of De Montfort University, is a practitioner of pataphysical music. He curated Pataphysics, for the Sonic Arts Network's CD series, and in 2007 some of his own music was issued by Urecordings under the title Pataphysical Piano, The Sounds and Silences of Andrew Hudgel. British progressive rock band Soft Machine were self-described as the official orchestra of the College of Pataphysics and featured the two songs, "'Pataphysical Introduction' Parts 1 and 2 on their 1969 album Volume 2. Japanese psychedelic rock band Acid Mother's Temple refer to the topic on their 1999 release Pataphysical Freak Out Mew. Autolux, a Los Angeles-based noise pop band, have a song, Science of Imaginary Solutions", on their second album Transit Transit. The composer Gavin Bryars has been a member of the College de Pataphysique since 1974, he was appointed regent in 2001 and a transcendent satrap in 2015 at the Pataphysical New Year's Eve Vigil EP. 143 September 7, 2015 VULG Topic In visual art In 1962 American artist James E. Bruton developed a style of abstract expressionism he called graffiti pataphysic. 
A survey of Bruton's pataphysics related work was shown in 2014 in Philadelphia. American artist Thomas Chimes developed an interest in Jari's pataphysics, which became a lifelong passion, inspiring much of the painter's creative work. In 2000, the Laboratory of Feminist Pataphysics was founded by Canadian visual artist, writer and scholar, Murray Perron. The Laboratory of Feminist Pataphysics has been shown at the Nickel Arts Museum, the New Gallery and Stride Gallery in Calgary, Alberta. In 2010 American artist Kevin Ferreira began a visual exploration into the imaginary solutions for the constructs of reality pataphysics equals pata art. The exhibit Spectrumic that resulted from this endeavor has been put into his book, Spectrumic, a pataphysical gestation to the birth of Lil T. The League of Imaginary Scientists, a Los Angeles-based art collective specializing in pataphysics-based interactive experiments. In 2011 they exhibited a series of projects at Museum of Contemporary Art, Los Angeles. Brian Reffin Smith, a Berlin based British artist and regent of catachemistry and speculative metallurgy in the Collège de Pataphysique, Paris, often shows art based upon or influenced by pataphysics and conducts performances at pataphysical events. He was part of a group of German and Czech artists who exhibited at Patadata, in Zelin, Czech Republic, 2017. Topic In online fiction The SCP Foundation has multiple articles referencing pataphysical concepts, such as SCP-2747, "...as below, so above". In architecture Le Corbusier developed an interest in Jari's work, Neil Spiller has pursued the pataphysical aspects of architecture. Luke Lupton researches and writes about the particular architecture of pataphysics. Peter Olshavsky researches and writes about pataphysics in architecture. Topic: <laughs> Patafor. The patafor, Spanish patafora, French patafor, is a term coined by writer and musician Pablo Lopez for an unusually extended metaphor based on Alfred Jarry's science of pataphysics, as Jerry claimed that pataphysics existed as far from metaphysics as metaphysics extends from regular reality. A patafor attempts to create a figure of speech that exists as far from metaphor as metaphor exists from non-figurative language. Whereas a metaphor compares a real object or event to a seemingly unrelated subject to emphasize their similarities, the patafor uses the newly created metaphorical similarity as a reality on which to base itself. In going beyond mere ornamentation of the original idea, the patafor seeks to describe a new and separate world, in which an idea or aspect has taken on a life of its own. Like pataphysics itself, patafors essentially describe two degrees of separation from reality rather than merely one degree of separation, which is the world of metaphors and metaphysics. The patafor may also be said to function as a critical tool, describing the world of assumptions based on assumptions, such as belief systems or rhetoric run amok. The following is an example. Non-figurative 
Tom and Alice stood side by side in the lunch line, metaphor. Tom and Alice stood side by side in the lunch line, two pieces positioned on a chessboard, patafor. Tom took a step closer to Alice and made a date for Friday night, checkmating. Rudy was furious at losing to Margaret so easily and dumped the board on the rose-colored quilt, stomping downstairs. Thus, the patafor has created a world where the chessboard exists, including the characters who live in that world, entirely abandoning the original context. The patafor has been subject to commercial interpretations, usage in speculative computer applications, applied to highly imaginative problem solving methods, and even politics on the international level or theater, the Firesign Theater. A comedy troupe whose jokes often rely on patafors. There is a band called Patafor and an interactive fiction in the interactive fiction database called Patanoir, based on patafors. Patafor is used by the Writers' Program at the University of North Florida, and has appeared in works affiliated with the Maria Curie Sklodowska University. Patafors have been the subject of art exhibits, as in Tara Strickstein's 2010 Patafor exhibit at Next Art Fair, Art Chicago, other artworks, and architectural works. Patafors have also been used in literary criticism, and mentioned in art in America. There is also a book of pataphorical art called Patafor by Dutch artist Hitta van Schie. It is worth noting that a patafor is not the traditional metaphorical conceit but rather a set of metaphors built upon an initial metaphor, obscuring its own origin rather than reiterating the same analogy in myriad ways. In The Disappearance of Literature, Bland Show, Agamben, and the Writers of the No, Aaron Hillier writes, while metaphysics and metaphors attain one degree of separation from reality, pataphors and pataphysics move beyond by two degrees. This allows an idea to assume its own life, a sort of plasticity freed from the harness of rigid representation. In other words, metaphors operate on the level of the same. They juxtapose apparently unrelated material in order to draw out subtle identities. Patafors unsettle this mechanism, they use the facade of metaphorical similarity as a basis for establishing an entirely new range of references and outlandish articulations, a new world in the midst of the old, the novel taking to the streets. Just as Kafka sought to forge a new form of life on the basis of absolute separation from historical progress, on cultural and transmissibility, and just as Bland Show pursued the pure novel that exists in a relationship of absolute refusal of the established world, so the pataphysician seeks to initiate a new world on the grounds of a tenuous unreality. Topic. See also Absurdism Atlas Press Dada Metafiction Oxpo Pseudoscience <laughs>